Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh And very good morning How are you? Apa khabar semua? Hai Good morning, Dr. Good morning, Dr. Good morning, Dr. Good morning, Dr. Okay, um, today is our first day for our uh, session For the Everything Engine uh, course And um, I believe there are around 17 to 18 students um, already registered for this particular course but probably there are more coming um, and um, for today um, just want to uh, highlight um, items that are important in this particular course but um, um, but before we go into the um, topic Probably I would like to uh, hear from you, okay? Uh, all of you are in your final year, and um, um, is there any difficulties in term of um, assessing the uh, classes online, or you are already back in the college, or you are already at home? You are still at home, and um, can can I hear any? Um, I believe all of you are able able to be here today. You have no issue, isn't it? Can, can I assume that uh, everybody can have um, easy access to to internet and we are going to have our class uh, online every week like this? Can I? Right, there's few more coming in. Uh, probably we will start um, uh, because our class is scheduled uh, each day uh, from uh, 9 to 12. It is a three hour class, but uh, most likely we are not going to have a lecture all three hours. Right. Um, I will explain to you how are we going to conduct the particular session. All right. So in terms of attendance, obviously, it's very difficult for me to monitor uh, the attendance. Um, of course, um, for me, uh, the attendance is just a process. Right. What is more important is the outcome, because uh, most of the time, uh, probably, if you have. Uh, issues in uh, attending the online session there will be a uh, video recording as well meaning that you can uh, attempt to uh, go through the lecture um, offline okay whenever you have uh, extra time because uh, if we have a, a lecture online uh, there are sometime people cannot um, uh, log in uh, as well as uh, having difficulties about internet connection and so on so forth So uh, don't worry about much about about uh, attendance but I uh, believe uh, if you have uh, intention to um, uh, participate more okay uh, for those who um, be able to attend the online synchronous lecture we call this as a synchronous lecture meaning that it is an online live session right so there are uh, discussion there are examples can be uh, um, um, Uh, made uh, during this live session compared to the offline session where you will only be able to view one way communication so so we'll see how to go about it um hopefully that uh, this particular um um uh, session online session uh, wouldn't prolong but i've been made to know that for this particular semester most most likely probably nearly 100% that we are going to have our class um, 100% online but we'll try to cope with it eh? okay since there are already about 15 to 16 uh, participants probably i can start to share uh, the slides All right um just to make you uh, aware that um, the slide will be available um on Um, the Putra Blast. The link will be given uh, later on, right? And uh, for those who are not here yet, maybe they can view this particular video when I upload it um, the, into the Putra Blast. Okay. Um, let me just try to do some setting. Okay. Right. Um, I hope everybody can see the shared PowerPoint. Right. If there's an yeah, yeah. issue, do yeah. let, do let me know. Um, sometimes 
uh, if my voice uh, you cannot hear my voice you cannot hear you cannot see the slide do let me know eh? because uh, in this particular mode i cannot uh, read the chat chat box eh? all right okay um okay, let's go through um in terms of the schedule right this particular course eas uh, 4511 it is an elective course right um meaning that you are being given the opportunity to choose um either to take this course or i believe there are another two courses offered for elective so you need to take um two right um and um our class will be scheduled um every tuesday okay um, from 9 to 12 and in terms of the methods of teaching delivery uh, I will be using the online live session, what we call it as a synchronous session, from time to time, right? Most likely, there will be online live session every week, okay? And there will be also a recorded video session, right? Uh, meaning that uh, there are also offline um, um also offline um, uh, video to share with you um, uh, from time to time eh? depending on the uh, um, topic that we are going to cover because um, uh, in terms of the content of this particular uh, course right, uh, there, there will be theory there will also be uh, calculation involved and there are also uh, there are also um, some um, examples uh, from the real case that we are going to look at. Um, in terms of the brief introduction of this particular course, basically this course covers the detailed design of an air breathing engine, right? So I believe all of you have already taken a uh, propulsion subject, ES3513, okay, um, probably in your year two. And um, I also... I have already provided, have already provided. Uh, can, uh, can you can mute yourself yourself because i can because i myself talking is cooking eh? okay whenever you you are inside this uh, session probably it's best to mute um, I already put a setting when you come in, you, you will be uh, mute automatically, but sometimes it is, uh, you can unmute, but make sure it is mute whenever you want to talk, you can uh, press uh, the um, um, unmute button. Eh? Okay, um, in terms of the course just now, as, as I, I mentioned, um, the prerequisite for this particular course is proportion, right? Meaning that um, you need to have a good knowledge in terms of propulsion subject. At the same time, your fundamentals of uh, fluid uh, mechanics as well as thermodynamics. Um, at the same time, aerothermodynamics. Those those courses are interrelated to one each other, and you will be using your um, um, you will be using your uh, previous knowledge in terms of trying to understand this particular topic. Okay, um, this uh, course also covers the uh, components of air breathing engine. If you feel, if you still remember that what we have gone through in uh, propulsion subject, uh, it focuses on two aspects, the aircraft engine as well as the rocket engine. But in this particular course, we are only going to look at the air breathing engine uh, component and design so it is component function design parameters energy transfer and fuel system uh, provided in this particular course in more detail all right um, we are also going to look into uh, current issues on future development uh, of the air breathing engines uh, in this particular course meaning that there are we are going to look at the historical aspect of air breathing engine design and future aspect of the air breathing engine okay as uh, we know that this particular course um, will consist of 60 percent work and uh, final exam will be contributing 40 percent right there are roughly seven, uh, 10 topics uh, um, already being um, um, crafted in this particular syllabus 
Okay, uh, the first one is uh, talking about the introduction where we are going to cover this particular course or sorry, this particular topic in uh, in uh, one lecture. Okay, we are going to look at a uh, more detailed aspect of open cycle, single shaft and twin shaft arrangements. Uh, there are also multi-spool arrangements, closed cycles, aircraft propulsion, industrial applications and aspect of gas turbine design procedure okay so this will be covered in the in the uh, topic one what we call it as a introduction and then uh, in a uh, topic two we will have a um, subtopic of shaft power cycles which will cover ideal cycles i believe in your propulsion subject you have already looked at brayton cycle ideal jet, jet engine cycle and so on so we are going to look into the aspect of methods of accounting for component losses the aspect of design performance uh, calculations comparative performance of practical cycles combined cycles and cogeneration scheme and uh, finally closed cycle gas turbine right so open cycle as well as the closed cycle gas turbine and uh, then we are going to go into uh, topic three which is the gas turbine cycle for aircraft propulsion most likely this will be covered in week four or week five of the semester and there there will be calculation on criteria of performance you will be exposed to uh, intake and propelling nozzle efficiencies so that there are some calculations of course we will review on simple turbojet cycle we will look into an example of turbofan engine uh, cycle performance right and then uh, turboprop engine uh, cycle performance and thrust augmentation okay so there are a few uh, examples and exercise you are going to go through in this particular topic three um, next um, in term of the components of, of course in uh, gas turbine engine there are uh, major components such as the um, intake we also have the compressor and then we have the uh combustion chamber we have the turbine and the nozzle so but in this particular uh, subject we are not going to focus on the uh, design of the inlet section we will focus on the centrifugal compressor first of course we will review back on the fundamental operation of a centrifugal compressor uh, how the work done and pressurize the diffuser these are already being covered uh, in your propulsion subject but we will try to go through quickly and then uh, moving into the compressibility effect okay and non-dimensional quantities for protein compressor and computerized design procedures right so um, this is going to be covered in most likely one particular lecture and and then um, we know that in uh, compressors there are two types one is the centrifugal and the other one is axial so most of the modern gas turbine engine are using axial flow compressors. We will look at the basic operation uh, and then the elementary theory, the factors affecting stage pressure ratio and uh, some issues in terms of the blockage in the compressor analysis. So we will also look into the uh, degree of reaction of uh, compressor blades, three-dimensional flow and aspect of the design process. Okay, so uh, those uh, two topics, topic 4 and topic 5, will focus on compressors, uh, centrifugal as well as the axial flow. And uh, going into the combustion system, right, you have already uh, learned in the propulsion subject on the operational requirements as well as the types of combustion system. So these uh, two subtopic will just cover the background. And uh, we will also look into the some important factors affecting combustor design. So in the aspect of you as a designer, okay, what are the things that you need to take into account whenever you want to uh, redesign or improve in terms of the performance of the combustion chamber, right? We will also look into more detailed combustion process, even though you have done that in your propulsion subject. And uh, combustion chamber performance, there are some calculations, right? In terms of uh, we will go through practical problems and we will also look at the issues of gas turbine emissions and 
how the uh, engine uh, manufacturers, the OEMs, trying to fulfill the requirements of ICAO in terms of re reducing the uh, gas turbine emissions. Okay, and uh, going into the next section, which is the axial and radial flow turbine, right? So uh, we will look into the theory of axial flow turbine. We will also cover vortex theory, okay, how uh, the flow uh, being uh, deviated or being channeled uh, in the um, turbine section. And uh, in terms of what are the factors in, uh, to decide in terms of the choice of blade profile, the pitch and the cord of the uh, turbine blades. And uh, we will also look into the uh, methods of estimation of uh, stage performance, okay, turbine stage performance, overall turbine performance, and at the same time, we will look into the uh, more detailed cool turbine um, uh, technology, okay? and a little bit on radial flow turbine at the end of the topic. So, topic 7 focuses on uh, the axial and radial flow the bind. okay and um, going after finishing all the three major components the compressor the combustion chamber and the turbine as i said earlier we are not going to focus on the nozzle as well as the inlet right so those three components just sufficient enough uh, to be covered in this particular uh, subject and before we move into the prediction of performance of simple gas turbine okay um, in terms of the subtopic for prediction of performance of simple gas turbine, we will look at the component characteristics, right? And we will focus on off design operation, right? There are, I will explain to you later when we come into this particular topic on the two issues. One is the on design operation as well as the off design operation eh? of the single shaft gas turbine. And then, uh, we will look at the aspect of equilibrium running of a gas generator, uh, the off-design operation of free turbine engine, off-design operation of jet engine, and methods of displacing the equilibrium running line. And finally, the incorporation of variable pressure losses. So this is a, there are a few examples that we are going to uh, look at and we are going to go through in terms of the prediction of performance of a simple gas turbine. And if time permits, um, like uh, we had uh, experienced before uh, the normal lecture from your previous the previous batches, we could not go through into this particular topic due to the time constraint. Even though uh, it is uh, included in this uh, topic in this subject, but if we have enough time, we will go into components matching where we will look into the conservation of mass, the compressor work, turbine work. Okay, turbine compressor energy balance, exhaust nozzle, operating line, general matching procedure and transient operation. So this particular uh, topic will focusing on the um, uh, designer work and okay? how the um, what we call it gas turbine designer has to look at in terms of trying to do the component matching because the 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 people who are working on the nozzle. The people who are working on the compressor, on the combustion chamber, on the turbine and the nozzle part will have to work together. It's not just one, one team to work for all of the uh, components, major components. They have to have to um, match in terms of the uh, input and output for each component, right? So that it will work uh, harmoniously in, as a one uh, one item okay so if time permits we will uh, cover topic 9 if not i will just share with you some uh, notes so that you can you can read on your own um, finally the topic 10 in terms of environmental considerations i believe in your uh, proportion subject you have been given exercise to look into uh, aspect of um, pollution issues in terms of air pollution, noise pollution, we will look into the standards uh, that already being uh, implemented by uh, the International Civil Aviation Authority the for aircraft emission standards. Okay, 
and we will look at the uh, not just um, um, aircraft uh, gas turbine engine we will also look at the stationary gas turbine engine that are being used as uh, power generators okay in terms of the NOx formation uh, solution on emission reduction aircraft gas turbine engine as both um, aircraft gas turbine engine and stationary gas turbine engine okay and we will also look into the standards that being used for noise reduction at the uh, vehicle itself the aircraft uh, aircraft as well as the uh, airport uh, and surrounding so in this particular topic normally we will have uh, invited speakers okay and uh, you will be having assignment yeah, uh, probably individual assignment to to address this particular topic um, in summary right so this particular course covered covers the detailed design of an air breathing engine so you will uh, be able to understand more in terms of the philosophy the fundamentals as well as the aspect of the design calculation of a air breathing engine yeah? at the same time you will be able to discuss on the components in air breathing engine the three major components the compressor the, the combustion chamber and the turbine section okay in terms of the function the design parameters the energy transfers and fuel system and finally um, we will also be able to uh, look into the issues on future development of air breathing engines in terms of the aspect of trying to improve the performance, trying to reduce um, noise as well as the uh, emission yeah, to the environment. So um, if you feel that this particular course is suitable for you, um, for this elective, you may continue uh, to join in for this, uh, for this uh, um, lecture. Eh? If not, if you feel that, oh, this is too much for you, this is too much for me, Eh, there are so many items that need to be calculated. There are so many things need to be uh, studied. So yeah, if you feel it is not suitable for you, you may drop the course. You may want to join the other two elective courses. Okay. In terms of the learning outcomes, since this is an outcome-based um, education uh, program, so as usual, we will have uh, learning outcome and the taxonomy level metrics for this particular course, we have four course outcome. So the first two is being uh, mentioned here. Okay, we uh, you should be able to investigate the operating principles and application of air breathing engine, as well as evaluate the gas turbine <coughs> cycles for aircraft propulsion. So we will only focus on aircraft propulsion, no more rocket propulsion in this particular course. At the same time, this particular course uh, need to address the four program outcome okay in terms of the knowledge in terms of the uh, formulation or research literature analyze complex engineering problem so meaning that there will be calculation involved okay, using maths uh, science and engineering science principles you will also need to be able to address a uh, complex problem uh, using investigative uh, methods and research design so there will be exercise that will be leading towards this po5 and finally po7 apply reasoning and okay, informed by contextual knowledge to access societal health safety legal and cultural issue so so basically you do not have to worry about po1 2 5 and 7 what you need to be focusing on is on the uh, cost outcome and the learning outcome uh, uh, for uh, the first two is here and then we have another two which is being stated over here the third cost outcome is uh, predicting performances of air breathing engine and finally you need or should be able to propose solution for environmental effect from air breathing engine okay so um, those are the items in terms of the learning outcome and taxonomy level metrics for this particular course. And in terms of the assessment, uh, most likely we are going to try to stick into this um, uh, plan where we are going to have 20% uh, coming from the assignment. Most likely it's going to be coming from your uh, noise and uh, uh, 
emission uh, uh, assignment, right? And then uh, you're going to do uh, test one and test two and final examination. So we will decide later um, in terms of when are we going to have our test one. Most likely it's going to be uh, on week five. Test two is going on to be going to be on week ten. Okay. And um, it's going to be online. Of course, it's like uh, a normal examination. So it's just a matter of is we are going to focus on a few topics. Okay. okay. Um, that's uh, all that I would like to share um, for this particular uh, session, right? So now we have we have seventeen uh, students um, in the in this particular session, right? Um, let me just uh, try to. Okay. Um, is there any question now? I would like to open. Um, any question or suggestion so that uh, on how we are going to deliver this particular course. As I said just now um, earlier that we are going to have this synchronized session just to go through examples and eh? go through uh, problems, example problems, and then uh, probably to have feedbacks from all of you. Okay, most of the time the lecture will be pre-recorded. Okay. So that you, uh, I will put it uh, in uh, Putra Blast so that you can view it before the uh, live session. Okay, we have three hours um, from nine till twelve. Eh? Um, somehow uh, the department put the, the timetable like that, and I believe it is also um, easy uh, for for all of us to manage the time. Okay, so how to how to, to be success in this particular course? What are the tips? Eh? Um, of course, uh, thank you very much for those who have already commented eh, in, in uh, saying that everything is clear. I hope the rest who did not do not uh, uh, put the in the chat say, uh, meaning that everything is okay with you. Eh? And uh, a few tips um, in order for you to be success. Success means doesn't mean that you're going to get an A or B or C. It doesn't, it's just not related to, um, uh, to the grades. Eh? What, what is important here when you choose this particular course as an elective, of course, the main intention is to, to get um, good grades. But what is more important behind getting good grades um, is whether the knowledge that the, you would like to embark in this particular course would be beneficial for you. Okay, some some student choose um, some student choose uh, uh, this particular course for many reasons, right? So there are probably some uh, will say that oh I I like the lecturer, okay, uh, or some say that oh I like this particular topic so much, okay, and I would like to further enhance my knowledge in uh, in uh, the line of propulsion, eh? gas turbine engine. Or some student feel that um, by taking this subject, you will get an easy A. Eh? For but you have to work for it. Eh? But um, whatever reason you have, I would like you all of you to correct your intention. Okay, to correct your intention, not because to get an A, not because you like me so much, eh? not be because you uh, for whatever reason eh? you have to uh, put an intention that. When you join my class, you join this particular course, is to seek knowledge. Eh? Seek knowledge meaning that probably uh, whatever you're going to learn may be beneficial for you today. Maybe it's going to be beneficial for you later eh? in your work uh, or your, your, uh, you are involved in design or you're involved in maintenance or manufacturing. Some of the methods that uh, we are going to go through in this particular course may be beneficial so i would like all of you okay to uh, correct your intention it's not because your friend take this subject you take this subject it's not because uh, there's no other choice you have to take this particular course okay again this is an elective course you may choose this particular course or you may drop the course okay so it's all up to you but uh, the small thing I would like you to uh, uh, correct your intention, basically 
on why do you want to learn this particular course so of course the first one should be uh, to seek knowledge eh? the whatever knowledge that i'm going to share with you the knowledge is not belong to me it is uh, uh, belong to the almighty god and eh? allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we I'm, I'm just here to share the knowledge for you to uh, be able to grab it eh? so if everything is not done in terms of the, to correct the intention uh, the second tip is basically on um, uh, try to uh, participate uh, meaning that um, even though i i mentioned that i'm not going to take attendance uh, of course alhamdulillah today we have um, roughly about 18 18 people um, in this particular slot including me eh? including me 18 meaning that 17 students okay so um um we you must make an effort uh, in terms of trying to join the synchronous session the live session that the session that we uh, I, i'm trying to have now eh? and then um of course uh when i have a video session um, most likely i'm going to upload it in, in uh, my youtube channel you make sure you subscribe and uh, you um, view the videos eh? because uh, through my experience from last semester right uh, some student did not bother to attend the synchronous class the live class because i don't blame them because some of them having difficulties to uh, get uh, a good internet connection so uh, i don't mind you don't uh, come into my online live session but at least you join or you view my uh, lecture in my uh, youtube channel okay there are there are playlists on um, uh, proportion subject hopefully i will upload uh, this uh, playlist for uh, everything engine so you have plenty uh, sufficient information so that um, i also already put in the putra plus the link for my youtube channel so that you can uh visit the youtube channel and look at the playlist of propulsion subject es3513 so you can view uh some topics that are interest meaning that you may want to review back on your compressor knowledge you want to review back on your um, combustion chamber knowledge and turbine knowledge or um, you may view other videos that are related to uh, the propulsion eh? so um that is available uh, alhamdulillah look, luckily we are we are in, in this uh, online mode where you can view the previous video eh, uh, from the previous uh, related subjects so um i hope that we, that will be the second tip meaning that participate join my online class view my videos okay and um, uh, actively provide feedbacks okay because i don't know if everybody are just keep quiet okay that is uh it also happened to my master class also happened to my my previous undergraduate classes eh? so um if you have question you may uh, don't wait until the after the final exam saying that oh doctor uh, i need to uh what are what are my carry marks you should be able to know beforehand okay what are my feedbacks for my uh, assignment for example okay so you 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 need to be able to engage i what i would like you to engage me actively okay either through the synchronous session through online session or through the group whatsapp that already been created okay um in the group whatsapp of course i expect only question related to uh gas turbine uh, or everything engine yeah? if you have any other things you may want to um uh, whatsapp me personally so that i can entertain or try to address your your issues okay that's the 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 the, the second tip eh? and of course the the third tip um on uh, to to be success in this particular course is to continue to do continuous learning right it's not just um a passive uh, you do not have to wait for me to say that okay uh, we are going to learn this topic then you 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 start learning uh, the, that is not uh, good enough in terms of to get an a okay continuous learning meaning that you uh, need to be able to um, um, uh, 
anticipate or try to have a read first on what's going on. Eh? Um, at the moment, nobody asked me about um, what reference that I'm using. Okay, uh, there are so many other questions that can be be asked. Eh? So at the moment, uh, you we, all of you are still maybe this is the first time I teach your batch. Eh? Probably you um, you not, you are not familiar with my style of teaching and learning. Okay, so um, with that, um, I would like to open for uh, questions or suggestions. Okay, and um, now we have around how many participants? We have 19. Eh? 19 meaning that 18 students, right? Um, in this particular session. Okay, so... Um, I hope that um, we can be on time next week so that we can have more uh, ample time in terms of uh, addressing uh, the topics. Eh? What we are going to do, even though it is a three-hour session, right? we are going to have a, a, a break in between, meaning that um, we are not going to have the lecture for three hours straight. Eh? We are going to have from 9 to 9.30 maybe or 9.40 and we have Q&A and then we have a short break for 10 to 15 minutes and we're going to have another session right after that. Eh? Because if not, we are, it's going to be very tiring. I found out that um, through this online session, uh, it is a bit tiring for the lecturer, eh? meaning that... Um, uh, uh, just talking um, alone by myself eh? without knowing whether um, you are still there or just uh, your icon is there but you are not there. Eh? But never mind, uh, everything is recorded and uh, we will uh, try to uh, upload the recording right after our session. Okay, I would like to open for a couple of minutes for all of you to uh, give suggestion or ask question in relation to the topics that I've already highlighted today. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Please. Uh, I'm Bizaruddin. Okay, uh, I would like to ask question. Okay. Um, are there recommended books that we can use as a reference for your classes? Okay, thank you, Bizaruddin. Eh? So, um, uh, the main textbook that I'm using is Gas Turbine Theory by... Cohen. Okay, you uh, should be able to um, either find it uh, um, in the library. Of course, it's, you are not able to go to the library now. But there are also um, online uh, e-books about gas turbine theory by Cohen. Eh? C-O-H-E-N. Right? So, uh, maybe you will be able to find um, uh, the e-book, free online book uh, by uh, Kohen Saravana Mutu, uh, uh, Gas Turbine Theory, um, Edition 4 or Edition 5. Eh? I'm not really sure. But now we already have the, uh, the seven edition. Okay. So that will be the main text. Uh, but um, not everything coming from that, that particular text. We also have um, other textbook that uh, I'm using and I will be sharing uh, in every topics that I'm, I'm uh, giving lecture. I will provide the, uh, of course, the lecture note. At the same time, the references that are suitable for you to do further readings. Okay. So, um, thank you, Zaruddin, for, for the question. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? Uh, with that, if there's no other things, okay, uh, I'm going to end our session for today. It's going to be one hour session only, okay. There's a no. It's not. It's not three hour session. Good to um, be back uh, giving lectures, and I'm happy that all of you are very eager to to continue your your study in your fourth year, even though we are having online. I hope you are not uh, discouraged. Uh, you should, should be able to be uh, keep motivating yourself and uh, through online. And if you have any issues in relation to your uh, courses, you may talk to your 
um, academic advisor or you can talk to the um, um, academic coordinator, either Dr. Salahuddin or Dr. Shamimi. Eh? And uh, with that, I wish you the very best. Stay safe and um, uh, we'll uh, try to um, whenever I want, I'm, I'm, I give updates in Putra Blast, I will update in our WhatsApp group. Eh? So do, do not uh, hesitate to ask questions. Do not feel shy to ask questions or give comments in our WhatsApp group. And uh, thank you very much. And Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Bye-bye for now. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr.